What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Wi-Fi battle. Today I've got an extra special one for you. If you're into Pokemon videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It only takes you a second, it's free, and you can always change your mind later. Uh, but the team I'm working with here today is full of probably, you know, the, the most rejects I could find. Um, <laughs> I'm working with an unknown. I've got some, you know, some interesting stuff here just to see if I could get them to get them to work, which is the general theme of, you know, the channel. But uh, opponent has some very big threats. We got Blissey, which is annoying. Uh, we got a Gliscor, the Salamence. Honestly, pretty much everything on this team, uh, if played correctly, could go pretty bad for me. But let's hop right into the match and just to see how this one goes. Uh, They're going to end up leading off with their Gliscor here as I decide to go with the Primeape. Now, I've been meaning to bring back Choice Scarf Primeape for a while. Honestly, this thing is super nice, and it's actually a really fun mod to use. But it's got no business being in against uh, Buff Zubat over here, so I get a nice little U-turn, and I decide to you know to figure out who has a better matchup here. Which honestly, not much. Uh, my team doesn't do great against Gliscor, but I decide to go into the Grumpig here. Um, and this is, this is actually Grumpig's battle. I'll tell you what, this springy little bastard is quite the threat. Um, I was kind of expecting this thing to be a lead Gliscor with Stealth Rock, considering, you know, uh, he freaking led with it. But it actually shows me it is Swords Dance. And that is not great. A Swords Dance Earthquake would hurt me a whole lot. So I figure I should probably just try to get some damage control going here and just go right for a Psychic, get as much you know, chip as possible on this thing. Uh, but to my surprise, they actually end up switching into Smart Azelf, the Uxi. And uh, big old Brain Boy is going to take nothing from a Psychic there. But honestly, kind of surprising that they ended up switching out there. Maybe they expected me to have an Ice move or something. Uh, I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and switch out, save the pig for later, because that boy has got some work to do. As uh, I'm going to actually bring in the Butterfree. Now, I decided to switch into Butterfree here, mostly because... Um, I figured they were probably going to set up Stealth Rock with this thing, and it's always nice to get your bug flying types in uh, before the Stealth Rock, so I don't just get absolutely probed by those things and take half my health, but um, actually ends up just setting up a Rain Dance, which is kind of interesting. You know, they're working with uh, Azumarill, they got a Polyrath over there. Not necessarily a Rain team, but I could see how the support could be nice. Um, they actually ended up switching into the Gliscor on my Sleep Powder. Smart move. As I decide to stay in here, I'm thinking maybe this fella does not have rock support, as I can just go for a Quiver Dance here. Shows me it's going to be Ice Fang for coverage. It's probably like Ice Fang, Earthquake, maybe one more slot. Um, but that's actually great for Butterfree. Now I get that Quiver Dance up, and I decide to go for an Air Slash. I'm thinking it plus uh, just one Quiver Dance. It's probably not going to be able to take care of this thing. But I'm like, please flinch. Come on, low fat. You're Butterfree for a reason, and it, it doesn't flinch. All right, so that allows it to just kill me with an Ice Fang. So, you know, it, we almost had a little David and Goliath story there with uh, Butterfree killing a Gliscor, but, you know, it's fine. It's all good. Boy did his best. Plus, it's actually really nice uh, just to get that chip damage off on this Gliscor here because that thing is pretty damn scary. So, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send in F, and he's thinking, what am I going to use here? i got many options. Uh, I go for the Hidden Power Psychic just trying to get this thing to kill something. Uh, but this guy has other plans and decides to bring in the white girl with the booty. The the damn Blissey is going to come in on Unknown. It's like, really, bro? If I'm using an Unknown, you're just going to disrespect me and go into a Blissey? <laughs> like, like, come on. There, there's probably not a worse Pokemon for an Unknown to fight. Uh, but he do be trying his best. So Unknown happens to not enjoy the big booty white bitches. I decide to switch out, obviously. And I, I'm going to bring in Tracef here. Uh, this thing's a nice switch because I can hit this thing pretty hard. I know, you know, Blissey's not going to be able to touch me too bad. It actually shows me it's it's rocking the Thunder, which, you know, is interesting paired with that, uh, that Rain Dance. Does, in fact, get a Para, but my plan with this thing is to potentially get some Stealth Rock up, maybe even hit this thing hard with an Earthquake uh, or a Head Smash because, you know, this thing doesn't take physical damage too well. So, um, I'm just going to end up going for the Stealth Rock here. I would like to limit... Uh, some switches on their end to just be able to punish uh, some mines coming in as he's actually going to end up bringing in the Polyrath. Now, Polyrath in the rain, young Michael Phelps out here about to swim about fast as shit. He does have the swift swim, um, and that thing is going to outspeed everything on my team. But um, thinking about how many rain turns are left, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like there's only a couple. Um, at this point, I have not been counting, but if the Uxie is damp rock, uh, I'm thinking after this sack, I should be able to come in after the rain. So. I decided to go into F, and, you know, you hate to do it, but if anybody has to come into a waterfall from, you know, freaking Polyrath in the rain, it's got to be this dude, uh, to essentially just die, and F has fallen. 
So make sure you pay your respects in the comments. Thank you. So the rain does go away, and this opens up a little bit of, of an opportunity for me. Um, I know I can take you know probably less than half from a waterfall on Grumpig here, so I decided to bring in the absolute lad. He's just he's he's marching, dancing around, honestly having a pretty good time here. And I'm thinking, let's just play with a little stuffed animal. So I go for the substitute. They are actually going to end up switching out. They do not want to take a psychic. Uh, so they decide to go into the Uxie. Now that's actually fantastic news for my piglet here because Uxie cannot really touch me. Um, plus I do have the Shadow Ball support for this thing. And it's honestly a great opportunity for me to try to set this uh, set up some bacon, boys. It's it's breakfast time. Who's Who, who wants some? Um, so I'm just gonna go right for the calm mind here. They are going to show me he's like I'm not concerned about this ground pig You know, I've seen this Pokemon in Ruby and Sapphire when I was 14 and I never liked it So this guy does not see the ground pig as a threat, but he will rue the day he clicks stealth rock there But uh, I get up a calm mind sets me at plus one special attack and special defense and essentially my plan is this um, it's looking like they only have a few physical attackers on their team, depending on what the Salamence is working with. All I know is the Polyrath and the Azumarill are going to be kind of my worst enemies here. But, um, if I can set up enough uh, special defense to be able to take from take attacks from pretty much anything else, I should be in a pretty good spot. Obviously also the Gliscor uh, is a bit annoying, but as long as I you know have a substitute up against those Mons, I think we'll be... Uh, a okay, so they set back up the rain. They're more concerned about getting wet than they are with dealing with this Grumpig. Um, but now I'm actually looking like I'm in a pretty damn good position here. I've got plus two special attack, plus two special defense behind a substitute, and I'm nearly full health here. So something is about to go down, and uh, it's not going to be Grumpig. So <laughs> uh, they actually end up staying in, to my surprise, going for a Thunder. Um, I guess everything carries Thunder on this team. I mean, you know. More props to you, carrying that rain dance in the, in the thunder. But I'm just like, you know what? I'm getting greedy. This pig is is not going to be stopped today. I go for another calm mind, and now I'm at plus three, and that is a great place to be in uh, if you're my grump pig. Honestly, I really like using this Pokemon. Every, it seems like every time I bring this mon, it catches people off guard, um, and it always does better than I expected to. Whether it's in just like a Nuzlocke or in Wi-Fi battles, but now I'm like, okay. I'm going to go for a substitute here thinking he's going to outspeed, break my substitute with the thunder, and then I can just set up a new fresh one um, to be able to continue mowing through some shit on the rest of the matchups. But he actually ends up switching out. Um, the, the substitute was really important for me, so it was worth it uh, to go for that. So, because as long as I'm behind the substitute, this Azumarill could try to hit me with something, but he's not going to touch me, bro. I have the beanbag. Um, but I actually end up outspeeding, and <laughs> with all this special attack... That right there is going to be a dead-ass Easter Bunny, and uh, you love to see it. So Azumarill going down is a huge threat out of the way. A lot of the time you'll see those things as uh, Belly Drum, potentially like Choice Band with uh, Aqua Jet and things like that. Surprise he didn't go for the Aqua Jet just to try to break my sub, um, because as long as this sub is here, his physical attackers still can't do nothing to me. So uh, they decided to go back into the Blissey, and it's just an egg theme today. It goes from one egg to another, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go for another Calm Mind. If I have plans to take care of a Blissey, your boy's mind is going to need to be calm as shit. So, and I'm sitting at plus four. And Blizzly is just going to go for a Thunder. But dude, after all this special defense, I am not going to be going down to that. Uh, it doesn't even break the substitute, which is honestly hilarious. Whenever that happens, they go for an attack and it just doesn't even break your little, your little toy. Um, but it's now time to finally just start trying to get some damage off on this thing. There's only one way to take care of this Blizzly. I'm not switching out. I'll be damned if I'm getting this, this Grumpig out of here. He's honestly, he's liking the rain. He's, he's having a little picnic. Uh, behind the substitute, it might not be the best day out here. It's you know rainy and, and thunder out here, but honestly doesn't give a shit. So another <laughs> substitute is actually going to break the sub. Um, but as my opponent probably realizes, all I really need to do is just set up another substitute. And this is kind of a game of cat and mouse, right? He really just needs to get in a physical attacker before uh, I get a substitute up. But due to the fact that he can't break a sub in just one attack, due to the fact that I was able to set up so many combines. Um, it's it's looking it's looking nice. So another thunder, and honestly, I kind of respect the semi-offensive Blissey. Um, you definitely don't see much variation in these things sets, but it's probably still also one of the most annoying Pokemon to fight. Um, but Grumpig does not care. Him and me and this beanbag are absolutely chilling back here, eating some leftovers. And uh, I'm just gonna go for another psychic. I did get a special defense drop, plus after another calm mind, that right there is gonna be. A dead Blissey. So it's always extremely satisfying seeing Blissey die 
um, regardless of what happens, but it's still using a, a special attack on it, especially with a never used mon like Grumpig, it's, it's just, uh, it, it, <laughs> that does not happen, you know, a whole lot. Uh, so, now they get a free switch into whatever they would like. Main things I am worried about is going to be if I lose this substitute and then Salamence comes in um, as a physical attack, plus uh, also the uh, the Polyrath is also a threat. But they go into Uxie, tries to Memento, um, but you cannot Memento on a substitute. Boy learned the hard way, and now I just throw a nice little ball of shadow right in his face, and that is going to be a dead pixie there. So I carry that shadow ball coverage and that right there. Is uh, Grumpig is absolutely eating out here. And I don't think anybody's ever seen a Grumpig do what this thing has done today to this man. And I honestly, I feel bad. But in comes Polyrath. Really not a whole other, lot of other options. Um, the only scenario where this went well for him is if <laughs> I didn't have my sub up. But this thing just goes for the waterfall. Even at full health, I could definitely take uh, one waterfall as long as it's not in the rain, I believe. Um, but that does break my substitute, and then I just killed this thing with a psychic. So Grumpig is just memeing on these hoes today. And the, for the first match I brought this team to, I'm pretty pleased with uh, with how my dude <laughs> has, uh, has performed. Actually, my dudette is freaking Charlotte. Also, I have Charlotte and Wilbur on the same team. Call that call that an amazing theme. Anyway, uh, now they bring in Salamence. And this is another scary mon where I'm like, all right, you know, an outrage hurts, potentially choice banded, either way. Um, it's gonna hurt me, but I'm just gonna stay and go for a psychic to my surprise and delight It actually ends up being a special attacking Salamence And if this dude knew that his win condition against Grumpig was pretty much Azumarill or Polyrath Probably should have played a little more safe early with the Uxie against Grumpig because I absolutely eat that Draco Meteor up like it was a fucking salad and uh, that right there is gonna take care of the Salamence there uh, with an easy psychic I mean just, just to overkill at this point with the amount of special attack this dude's got my god. Um, Gliscor comes in, and at this point, there's really not much little feller can do. Take some stealth rock damage, and uh, all I gotta do is essentially click Psychic here. And Grumpig has absolutely put the team on his back. Ordinarily, this Pokemon, people think, you know, it can't really crawl its way out of a wet paper bag, but I have proven that the Grumpig demands respect. Uh, I take that Earthquake, does actually a decent bit of damage, um, but a Psychic is able to knock it out. So. Hopefully you have learned the lesson of if you see a Grumpig starting to set up, you better you better get something going because, you know, he will eat your children. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. I know that was a little bit of a weird battle, but uh, I just figured I would get this one up for you guys. I've been a little bit busy lately, but thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.